I live in the city now. I, I was born and raised in Flint, and I raised five children here. They all went to the Flint Community Schools. So I've been a strong supporter of Flint all my life. It seems to me, though, with you being the emergency financial manager, which of course you got a good salary for that, that you would be willing to live in the city in one of our areas where things, where you can see where things <coughs> should be done. And that is me happening. As I said, I am very upset. There may be nothing I can do, but each time you have a meeting, as a young man said, I'll be here. And I'll be talking.
keeping our resources here in the city of Flint where we can actually control our own destiny. Okay, man. Let me go back to the community and economic development question first. Uh, what I can tell you is that because of the resource problems we have, we have to work in partnership with a lot of organizations. So one of the organizations that the city has been working with for the last few years is the Genesee Regional Chamber of Commerce. And uh, I can tell you that there's been some progress. There's been a couple of thousand jobs created. Uh, and that's one of the reasons the income tax is improving a bit. It's nowhere near where we need it to be, but it's improving. And again, we're not going to turn this around overnight. And it isn't just the regional chamber that we have to work with. There's many partners, the state of Michigan, the Mich Michigan Economic Development Corporation, uh, certainly uh, some of the programs the Obama administration has offered our Department of Community and Economic Development is working to bring those resources in and utilize those resources properly, so we'll continue to do that. On the water, uh, again, we haven't made any decision to privatize anything. Is all I've said is we're looking at all the options. You know, our challenge is to have enough resources to operate so that when you turn the tap in the kitchen or the bathroom, the water comes out, okay? And so we've got limited resources to do that now. We've got to find different ways to do business. I don't know that that's privatization. But what I do know is that we, we, we've got to live within our means. And as you point out, water is vital to the citizens. So we're going to make sure we make a good decision there. We're evaluating everything. And we're involving a lot of people in that, including uh, the Department of Environmental Quality from the state of Michigan. I mean, we're going we're gonna to bring the resources to the table, ask the right questions, and hopefully come up with a decision that's going to be best for the citizens of the city of Flint. Thanks. How are you today, Mike Brown? I'm OK. My name is Chase. You guys can call me Ross. I was wondering. Uh, <sighs> We live in a nation of checks and balances. What are our checks and balances on you? What can we do to challenge your decisions? And how can we get you out of our city? Uh, uh, I think the, the checks and balances in this case really go back to the governor. Uh, there's a mechanism in state government that if a municipality gets in a position where they can't pay their bills, they're running deficits, and they can't solve their problems on their own, then he can appoint an emergency manager. That was invoked. There was a review. I'm here. So he still is accountable to the people. I'm accountable to him, OK? And I'm going to try to do the best job I can of communicating to the citizens, involving citizens while I'm here. But again, we do have a, a dire situation. And we're going to have to move swiftly and make good decisions along the way. That's what I'm going to try to do. I think the people of the city of Flint have the right to make poor financial decisions. We live in a democracy, not a cash out receipt. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks, Mr. Brown. Good evening, Mr. Brown. Good evening. My name is Erin. Uh, just wanted to say, invoke is not a word of looking for evoke. Um, also, uh, Mr. Brown, I appreciate the opportunity once again to converse with you in this style. The problem I am seeing with these meetings is that you're avoiding answering questions as well as I believe that you are capable of answering them. You are a man with your own brain, and I don't understand why you consistently back down from offering your true opinion. These questions are not that difficult to answer. It seems a whole lot like you've created these word games as a trick pony show to be able to have said that you've heard the people and their concerns. You seem to me like an intelligent and skilled gentleman which originally brought you into this position, or perhaps your special interests. Though I am hearing many constructive and heavily practiced answers that are, or that are arranged in circles, leaving many of us, all these people here, feeling like our valuable time was completely wasted. Your candid answers lack meaningful input toward the time the people have spent properly formulating their concerns. I see it as a form of disrespect for everyone involved, yourself included. With all this said, 
I want to ensure that these meetings aren't just publicity stunts and that the people still have a voice during this time of dictatorship and Governor Snyder through your position. So how can I become part of your team that has true input toward your decisions? I see, that the, I see the positive potential for this city, and I'd like to see you walk away from the city and this position knowing that you've done good things, instead of simply stepping in with a lead foot in whichever direction your special interests in the backseat tell you to go, abandoning us at all. I want you to sleep well at night, knowing your decisions are for the good of everyone. Thanks. How can I get involved with your team? You know, pick an issue, whether it's housing. No, you have a team arranged. How can I get involved with that? There's opportunity for folks like you to get involved. Well, tell me how exactly right now I, I can I get think involved. If you get your name to Dawn and you say I want to be involved in a certain issue, we'll make sure you have an opportunity to participate. You have a team. Participate. You can add to your team with, with valuable input. I just told you. Okay. Uh, 